What is going down, everyone? It's time for MojoBreak.com, the hype episode 314. Chrome updates here. One of the big retailers has put out a huge bounty. I'm sure we already know what the bounty is now, but we'll dissect that. We got The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, signing some cards, but a little bit of controversy around this. Also, NBA's in full swing, Web and Yama, but NT's coming out is... NT going to be overshadowed by how well Web and Yama's playing. Magic are playing good, so we'll talk about that as well. Um, exclusive deals, Stroud, Web and Yama, are they hurting the hobby? And what can we do to possibly change that? So we got a jam-packed show. Um, do you know I realized over this weekend, the 2021 NFL rookie class is the worst. Quarterback rookie class in the last 25 years. Mm. So. Okay, timeout. I You could say maybe... The last five years? No. Last quarter of a century? Yes. Okay, let's let now. Yep. Let's go through. Yep. We're get, yeah. We need pod, this, pod, this podcast will be. Okay. It's going to be a seven hour podcast, but we need to go back to the fine year of. Let's see. Let's do some math. 1998. Mm -hmm. That was a while ago. <laughs> it's been a while now. 1990. Uh, Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning. All right. Okay. You know, well, there's yeah, another okay. guy there, though. You know, Ryan Leaf. Yeah, sure. I mean, then you can start getting Roethlisberger, Eli Manning in the well, mix. Well, four he's in the mix. Oh, four legendary class: Philip Rivers, Eli Manning, Ben Roethlisberger. But those three alone, all three probably Hall of Famers. Jamarcus Russell, what year? That's 2007. Is 07? Yeah. 2007. Yes. So Not a are good you year. are you going to say that is a better year? Well, maybe I should have like said overall rookie class because you had adrian peterson in that class you had calvin johnson in that class as well so but you also had matt oh no matt liner was 06 right so yeah. 06 that was reggie 06 bush. vince young matt liner reggie, reggie bush. bush don't forget yeah. how vince young no, had no, a couple no, years no 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 that i mean that was that was good reggie bush had a good career reggie bush had a good career vince young those first couple years vince we all young. were like this guy's the real deal this guy's legit and, you know, he ended up having a half-decent career. Matt Liner, Matt Liner kind of bounced around a little bit. Yeah, not very does great. Got does do great, great TV now. Sure. Zach Wilson, backup, shouldn't be playing. Not good. Not great. Hasn't been great. Uh, Mac Jones do it, but got Mac, for Bailey Zappi over Mac the weekend. Mac Jones. Not, not great. Did, does anybody know the story? Did anybody watch that Patriots game? I did not wake okay. up early enough to watch that one in Germany. So this is what went down. Uh, Mac Jones looked terrible through a terrible interception in the end zone. But with about a minute left in the game, they had an opportunity to drive down the field, get a game-winning touchdown. Belichick benched Mac Jones and brought in Bailey Zappi with a minute left in the game. That's, man. It's over. It's over for Mac Jones. Unless he had some arm soreness, but, No, I mean, it's, it's, it's over. And then, and then the, the, obviously, Belichick in his post-game, like, I just feel like when you, get, when you get that far into the game, you got to ride with your guy. Like yeah. you, that's a decision you make halfway through. That's so he did not. He did not say that he was hurt or anything. No, the game? he benched him, and now they're going into a bye week. There is, I, I doubt there is. I, I don't think there's a chance that Mac Jones throws another pass in a Patriots uniform. I. I, I think it's over. I think it's yeah. over. I think it's over. I, I'll say that and I don't want to go so far to be like Belichick without Brady is nothing because I think that his the way he was able to construct rosters and get rid of guys before things got bad or you know he always was good about getting rid of guys a year before or a year too early rather than a year too late and that's a big reason why they won on top of of course having a, the generational talent quarterback but I think that philosophy without Tom Brady is exposing the way that maybe he is dealing with the quarterback position where he is dealing it with it like it's, oh, it's the same as swapping out uh, a DB for this running guy back, or swapping yeah. out a running back for this guy. But it's not. When, you have, a, when you have can't do it that way. a generational talent like Tom Brady, you could make certain moves yeah. that are not going to be the difference between winning and losing a game. Right. You look like a genius, yeah. right? It might be the difference between winning a Super Bowl. Could be. But, yeah, you're right. It's it, it's not going to be magnified like it is right now. And like I said last week, Trevor Lawrence, scrub. I mean, it's funny how quickly people are going to just, you know, say that Trevor Lawrence, top of his game, going to make the playoffs, blah, blah. Lamar Jackson, top of his game. The NFL, we can't look at it. can't say, Purdy's a bust. Purdy's a bust. Well, now look at it. It's like a week-to-week -week thing. Purdy people had, people he react. Had one, he had one good game. 
He had a very good game. He had a good game. He had a very good game. He had a good game. I, I would. I'm, I'm I, getting I close be like, to being back. Better watch game. out. We got an MVP guy getting into the mix here. He Second does have quarterback the quarterback rating. Actually, I think he's got. And if you go by that QBR, he's got the highest in the yeah, league right now. If you want to go by that. Which I still don't quite. Are you? Are you? Stat. Are you now? No. Are you now no. back on? No. Well, you're uh, like. I'm like. Let's think about where we're gonna put him in the ring of honor at <laughs> at, at Levi Stadium. <laughs> I'll say this: <laughs> calling Trevor Lawrence a scrub, you gotta give the Niner defense credit. They were motivated. They had Chase Young on that team. They looked like how they should. But they how does a six and two potential. team? And I'll and I'll give you that that back because I I did say the Browns were an elite defense. But how do you have a bye week? You're at home. You're a team that's lost three in a row, and you come out like that. That's I don't know. Is it coaching? Is it Trevor Lawrence's ineptitude to play against a good defense? I think it's frankly that the Niners were they was, saw that it, as it more of a, a must win. It was a must win for the Niners. Yeah, it was an absolute. The must The Niners win. lose that game and they go five and four. It's not looking good. And now. they just made the move to bring in Chase Young. Two weeks before that, they brought in Randy Gregory. Right. If they lose that game and they've lost four in a row, and the, doom, and, 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 the, doom the, and gloom. Yeah. The Jaguars had just gone, gone five in a row, so maybe right. it's a little different scenario. And, so. frankly, the level of opponent. I, I, I don't know exactly who they beat. I know there was a couple good wins in that, but a lot of weird schedules, international play. Uh, so that could play a part as well. But I think the Jaguars... I, I do, really and I think I've actually was saying before that like Trevor Lawrence is is the best out of that rookie class and I, and I still think he is the best but I also do believe he is he's overhyped yeah he is he is good is he right now a top 10 quarterback in the league mm, right I the don't know I think he's I think he's teetering on that like yeah. maybe 12th maybe 9th somewhere around I mean, he there might, but, he might be but there he by isn't, default he, he but... is not an elite quarterback. He's not, not right a now. top three. Not right now. I don't think he's a top five. You got to remember that 10 rookie quarterbacks have started this yeah. year, too. So there's a lot of, you know, disparity in the quarterback rankings. Yeah. I mean, I think so I he would, might be in there by default. I think but. I would take Kirk Cousins over Trevor Lawrence mm. if I needed to put together a right team now. that's going to win right now. Yeah, I, I, I'm not mad at that right now, to be honest, as much as I like Lawrence in his future. And if you're thinking, oh, it's early, give this guy time. The fact is, and yes, it also speaks to how good these guys I'm about to talk about are, but we're not saying that about Joe Burrow in his second, third year. Heck, we're not, we weren't saying about Justin Herbert, and I know we got complaints about Justin Herbert, but we're not saying that about him. And I, So, uh, yeah, I, it, it's, it, it, there's still time, but maybe he is not going to be that elite of elite. Third that, full, third that, full we season, were, right? yeah. that we were spoiled in 2020, the fact that we now potentially have four guys, maybe three, Maybe three, maybe four. I'm not going to put Herbert there quite yet, but I'm not going to blame him for some of the things yeah, that are going on with Chargers. Hmm. He had a great start, but is where, starting where to are you show. Putting, where are you putting? What, what's, what are you doing here? Elite, put, elite quarterbacks. Elite? For, how many elite Herbert? quarterbacks came out of the 2020 draft? Herbert? Potentially. Oh, so man. you got to say uh, Burrow and Hurts at this point? Burrow, Burrow and Hurts. You can make an argument about Tua. And again. You can make an argument about Herbert. I don't I, think I, I'm don't not think mad if you don't yeah, want to make that argument right now. It's not Herbert's fault. It's not. We gotta they we gotta get him off of. He, we gotta get Brand Staley out of Did you see? Did you see the stat that he, they are the first team, like in like 40 years, to lose like three or four? I don't even know what the exact number of games they've lost, but lose games where they scored on their final touchdown drive multiple times. So it ain't Herbert's fault. You can't blame, but you can't put it all on him. Let's get into this week about this. Let's go into this week. About we got, we're going to no. talk a little bit more I about feel, CJ. I feel like we've had that conversation we at have. least 90 times. We have. What, the Chargers what are number are we on? The Chargers are exhausting. One out, of, one out of three episodes, I think we go on a rant about Justin Herbert. Is he elite? And C-Rat's not here to talk about how, no. how much garbage he is. No, he'd be like, Aiden O'Connell, invest. Didn't do much to win that game. No. but I know, mean, he did get them it. in field goal position a lot. Great job. <laughs> Devontae Adams is balled out, too. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to talk a little bit more about C.J. Stroud later in the broadcast. Also, if you're chasing his cards, we do have some breaks coming up with Origins, with Certified, and Prism is around the corner, so make sure you guys check out MojoBreak.com where you can pre-sell your team, get in early, get in at a lower price, and watch those breaks on our YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, breaking news, about a couple weeks ago, uh, Leaf announced that Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, will be in an upcoming Leaf Wrestling 
sets. And uh, I think controversially, uh, Darren Ravel put out on uh, X that uh, Leaf does not have a deal with uh, Dwayne Johnson, according to Dwayne Johnson's agent. Well, turns out that Leaf did do some kind of charity events and uh, gave some money to The Rock, Dwayne Johnson's wife's charity. And that's how the autographs came to be. So, I mean, if you're chasing one of the rock autos in Leaf Metal or whatever Leaf product they put it in, probably not going to be a lot of them. Um, but, yeah. uh, you know, it's cool that he's in products. He, he's not been in any licensed wrestling products. So it is kind of odd to finally get some autos of him in a unlicensed product. So uh, we'll see going forward. Maybe, maybe after this comes out, maybe The Rock will sign in an upcoming WWE Prism or a Topps release in the future once they get the, the wrestling license. But uh, And I do have from our resident wrestling expert, Shane, uh, that apparently, uh. apparently <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson has not not signed in any wrestling product since he was saying potentially 1998. Mm. So it's been a long, long time. Did they even have wrestling products back then? Five years old. That's right. Jeez. It's been Shane, that long. I, I'm pretty sure Shane has no idea. I think he just pulled that year. Who knows? So out of thin air. So I'm going to say maybe close to 25 years. Though, that, I mean, that would mean like if there are products from 1998 that's signed by the rock those have to be worth a an lot. insane amount of money and i haven't i haven't seen yeah. any of and them. it does explain why those my university of miami ones are so popular and why those always anytime those come up it's a big deal yeah i mean those so are those are in person so like yep. how would you how would you get those signed i mean conventions it, which he doesn't really yeah do he doesn't anymore. Even, i mean is, is there wwe back in the day meet and greets or something Probably. like that oh there know. definitely were yeah yeah there were definitely if you went to like wrestlemania or sometimes if it was a other big event they would do like a fan fest at a convention center and you could meet all these guys let me, let me ask you guys this and we can actually pose this to the audience if you guys want to join the hype group on facebook mount rushmore of wrestlers uh, oh, is, oh, is the Rock on there? Hogan, Hulk Hogan. Yes. Uh, yeah, probably at this point he is. He's there. Ric Flair. Hmm. Stone Cold. So I, Stone Cold would be in like my my Mount Rushmore. My personal one. Uh, the Undertaker. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say this just because of his appeal outside of wrestling. I'm gonna put Andre the Giant there. Uh, not just wrestling, acting, fashion. Yeah. Talk about Obey. Fashion. Uh, yeah, fashion. You know, very fashionable that like guy, that leotard. Yeah. No, I'm talking the Obey clothing line where like that is more how people oh, his people face, know yeah. him from that more, I think, now than they know him the wrestler. I actually don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, you know Obey the it was a streetwear brand forever and ever skate brand. Okay. And that logo, yeah. I that's mean, his face. You probably did. I it took me a little while to realize that too, but I know I know yeah. what you're talking about. Oh Obey, yeah, yeah. Andre. Let me see if I pull it up here so you'll Yeah. The 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 main logo of it, which I don't know if Obey's really still a thing. Oh, Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll put him there. Yep, there it is. That's Andre the Giant. Uh, I mean, Princess Bride, obviously. Mm. Princess Bride was a classic movie. Classic. One of the best of all. Can't, can't go wrong. So I I'll think, put him there. I think. A young Ben Savage. Stone Cold. Savage, I mean, actually, there, yeah. there's like, I mean. That Shawn, might be my Shawn Michaels. I might Shawn put, Michaels would be on Sea yeah. rads for sure. I might put Hulk. Andre the Giant. I think the consensus is Rock. Uh, Hulk. Hulk. Hulk Hogan would be on. Hulk Hogan's on every. Right? Yeah. He has to no be. question. He's like the Babe Ruth of wrestling, right? Right. Like, but Ma I, Macho Man. Macho mm, Man's up there. I don't know if he's on a Mount Rushmore though. Ultimate Warrior. Some would say too. Some might say. Some might say. Uh, Ric Flair. I think is a fair one. Sting. I think Cena is a probably a fair one at this point for a different generation. They view him. As Sting. Things. Roddy Piper. A lot sure. of people liked him. Sure. Um, yeah. I mean, Dallas Diamond Page. You just want to talk mm, about no. versatility, Mick Foley. I mean, yeah, the man yeah, had a, a, yeah. kid, like a new character every year. Uh, oh. Triple H, you know. Triple H. Uh, yeah. yeah. So there, there's a lot of routes you can That's go. I think tough. no doubt we could bring Shane in right now, and he can just rattle off. Uh, unfortunately, we don't we, have time for. Yeah, uh, let me we, tell you, we'd be here for the next three days. Every independent wrestling right league. That's what would happen in history. He would be like, "Let me give you an argument for why this guy, who was fourth bill on the NWO." Is also deserving of a shot at that Mount Rushmore. I'm like, okay, we, get, we we wrap it up, buddy. I mean, what did you have back? There was WCW, there sure. was WW, WWF, WWF, which, became which e. turned into WWE. Mm -hmm. uh, was those there pa those pandas? Was there like it. Impact Wrestling? <laughs> there was, was like Impact a, Wrestling, which a little more was like a more uh, had more of an edge to it, right? There was, it was a little more dangerous. Um, God, what was the the, the 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 guy that wore the tiger pants? 
Uh, Old tiger pants. And would jump off pants. the... God, there was another outfit around the same time as WCW, NWO, and WWF. Oh, but Nit- Nitro was no, just a part it was of it. Like, that was just a part of it. I think so. WCW. God, there was... Yeah, but there was like a guy with... God, Maybe we should bring Na- in Shane. We're, 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 <laughs> we're showing our lack of our Samba or Samba or something. I don't know. Rick, I don't Ricky know. Steamboat. No, that was more WWE. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if you guys, who's on your Mount Rushmore? I think everybody's gonna have a different opinion depending on what era you grow up in. Because uh, who's uh, Roman Reigns? Maybe on some Roman people. Reigns uh, is huge. Kind of yeah. like the new kind of you know ushering in the new the new blood there. Yeah, the bloodline. Who is the That's number the one wrestling? Right now? Right now. Who's, Roman not, who's number Roman, one? Roman Reigns is probably number one. Where is he at? Is he AEW? WWE. WWE. WWE is still number one. Most popular is WWE. Roman Reigns, probably your number one. I uh, couldn't tell you if he's number what? two. I know there's plenty. Where Becky Lynch, I think. She's big. She's very big. Mm-hmm. Isn't Ric Flair's daughter? Charlotte Flair. Charlotte, Charlotte Flair, Flair, very popular. Although I don't, I haven't seen her as much in the last few years. So. Well, and I wanted to talk about uh, the debut patch before we get in. We're going to talk about some Bowman Draft, some NT coming up here, too, with the new releases and, and some of the new news. But uh, it looks like DA Cardworld has been putting out bounties for some of these big tops products. Uh, they tease. We are filming this a little early than you guys are listening to this, so I'm sure it'll already drop. Uh, but they have put out a $150,000 bounty on a rookie debut patch 101 from Topps Chrome Update. So if you don't know what they what these are, uh, the players that debuted this year, meaning the 2023 rookie season, had a debut patch on the sleeve of their jersey. All of those have came off, and there's, I think, 93 cards that are going to be thrown out through the top, Topps Chrome Update SKU, which comes out Wednesday. We are doing an early preview on Fanatics Live on Tuesday. You'll be listening to this after it. But... We are assuming that the bounty will probably be for Anthony Volpe. Probably. Actually, I got word it's going to be for a uh, base card of uh, Ryan Giants relief pitcher Ryan Walker. That's there we go. Going to be the oh, Ryan Walker. That's okay, going to be the hundred fifty thousand dollar bounty. So get get. He's on the checklist. Get ripping. He's on the checklist. He's on the checklist. Is he on the debut patch? He is actually. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, we. I mean, oh, other other big ones would be Kodai Singa, uh, Jordan Walker, uh, probably Basataka Yoshida. Um, none of the Orioles rookies, right? No, no none Gunner, of the Orioles no rookies. Adley. No um, Adley, no Gunner, no Corbin. So no, that's no Ellie because no Ellie. Ellie that'll be the next year. That's really where. The but did full Ellie potential. make his debut this year, or yeah. did he get called up? late last year no he made his debut okay last year. so next year i think and this is going to be exciting obviously and you know as we're as you're listening to this we've already read through a lot of this stuff i'm sure there's been at least a couple that have, have popped out already uh and it's i think the hype is already pretty palpable for this stuff so imagine next year where now you're gonna have ellie de la cruz you're gonna have jason dominguez MLB debut patches next year. Oh, that's right. Uh, you're going to have Evan Carter, who became a star during the postseason for the Rangers. You're going to have – and then whoever else gets called up probably, what, before Memorial Day. Uh, there could be another uh, – there's rumors Jackson Holiday could be on the opening day roster for the Orioles, could be your starting shortstop for the Orioles. Imagine Jackson Holiday, Ellie De La Cruz, Jason Dominguez alone. So that's the real potential that, that you're seeing here. So the fact that there's already this – I can't even imagine what it'll be. And, there, and there's obviously a huge amount of hype, and I want to ask you guys before we move on to the next topic is, and I'll start with Dan here, could this potentially be the best card in 20 years, let's say 20 years from now, Anthony Volpe mm. beats Derek Jeter, has better stats, wins multiple championships, or any of the players that are in this as a debut patch, does it pass up this Bowman mm. Super Fractor auto? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's a top five card. No, it 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 doesn't. Be, well, not until the culture of the baseball collector changes. Because the baseball collector, still, it's not about the patches, right? I mean, everybody loves, like, prime relics and stuff like that. But it's not, like, the logo man chase. The NFL shield chase. Baseball collectors have always been chasing the on-card prospect autos. I honestly would prefer if I had Volpe Super Fractor first Bowman Chrome Auto or debut patch. I'm taking the Volpe Super Fractor every single day of the week. But no, and I'm not disagreeing with you, <laughs> but I'm no counterpointing way. to this, and then I'll see what Cody has to say about the topic. You could have multiple Super Fractor Auto rookies of Volpe. 
You cannot have another debut patch. But you can't. It have is truly a one of first, a kind. The, but the first Bowman, you only have one. Right. There's only one first Bowman. Right. And that's the only one I. But care there about. could be an. Uh, there's going to be a top Chrome Super. There's fracture. no second Bowman. There's going to be a Bowman Sterling Super. Fracture. Yeah. Whatever. First Bowman. There will not be another only debut be patch. One. First Bowman. That's true. But there, you're, you're right. There will only be one first Bowman. But I think too there is. The, the, I think the end game here, the goal for Tops is for us to, at the very least, for the next generation of collectors to see those two cards at least on equal footing. I think that they are trying. Like this is sort is of it safe a, to say one and two. I got it. I think I gotta, it's a top five. I got to see. Now. I got to see one of these patch auto right. in person. Right. It's. I, I think the goal is that they are trying to appeal to a generation of collectors. Maybe that doesn't. Maybe they're, they're not necessarily trying to appeal to the baseball collectors. I mean, they are trying to appeal to baseball collectors first, but they're also trying to appeal to those collectors who are maybe basketball or football collectors who love the NT stuff, love shields, love the one of the logo mans, where that is the instant gratification of like, I know what I have in my hand is a massive hit. Whereas the first right. Bowman's, there is still the like, well, maybe this guy will be something in five years that maybe 15, 20 years from now, it is looked at at least as, if not number two, at least on equal level because there's, you know, okay, they're well, trying to bank on that instant gratification. Let's go down the line. Tops Chrome Super Fractor or this card? Tops Chrome Rookie Super Fractor. I'd rather have this card. this card. I'd rather have this card. I got to see it in person, man. Yeah. But. So we're saying this might but, be number. I know you say top five, but then it's got to be number two. It might be. Bowman Super Fractor, and then see that, and I and I am a Bowman purist, so I I I it's hard for me to say this, but they, they always use the worst photos on the Bowman Super Fractors because they're basically photoshopping a college or a minor league game they're in. They usually don't look the same way anymore. I mean, you you, you look at uh, Julio Rodriguez's, he's you know you look at you look at Dominguez who looks like he's like 15 years old. You know what I mean? It's like and I pointed out Corbin Carroll got the mustache, the long hair now. His Bowman first is doesn't look anything like him. I think, I think this is a top five card, and that's pretty remarkable. Being it's a debut, not set because we've had an update before, but it's a debut card in a set. I I don't, I, I I'd have to see it in person, but I think it. I think right now the way it stands, it is a top five yeah. card. Uh, last prediction before we get in a Bowman um, draft coming out. What would the flo- – I hate to say he's floor and ceiling. Obviously, the ceiling is 150000 set by D- DA Cardworld. What's the floor on the worst player of these, if you had to Ooh. guess? Which is – there's going to be, like, rookie relief pitchers. Are we saying 1000 minimum? $2,000? Eight, eight, $800. You think so? Five, Even five to $800. Ryan Walker, man. I mean, that's really what I'm thinking. Actually, five to eight hundred bucks. Would I? And then in my mind, I go, why would I ever? And why would I ever pay five hundred dollars for a even a one of one of a rookie relief pitcher? Like it just, man. Because well, because because it's the only one, and you can cause also because you're, you're a Giants fan. Uh, yeah, sure. That's that's true. And you know, and I gotta support my guys. So I guess I'm gonna have to fork over my now half a grand. Yeah, the the ceiling obviously has been set at one hundred and fifty thousand. It's a pretty substantial gap I, there. I will say five hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand. I'm gonna I'm gonna go lower, and I'm gonna say no card goes lower than maybe two fifty to three hundred. Oh, like that's I, the floor. Oh, I do. I think five. You heard I, it here, bounty, two hundred fifty dollars <laughs> for the Ryan Walker. <laughs> I think I think five. I think five hundred. There. I mean, there's only a hundred hundred of them, right? Something there's like only that. hundred of them. So but there's I, just some subjects that it's just like. So you got, if you want to do know. some, if you want to do some math here, do you have, you have a, you I have got a calculator. calculator. Okay, so we all do. Rookie debut patch odds on hobby boxes: mm-hmm. one and three thousand five hundred and fourteen boxes. Three thousand. So divide that by six. Divide three thousand five hundred fourteen by six. Uh huh. What are you coming up? Point zero zero one. No, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> what? Divide three thousand five hundred fourteen <laughs> by six. Uh, okay. Uh, five, 585. Okay. So you will get a 585 cases. Oh, of hobby. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. So I'm, I'm, you trying, I'm trying to figure out the odds for, for our listeners here Got it. because they are posted. So you're telling me this. So chance. one in 585 hobby boxes for a debut. That patch. doesn't seem that bad. 
It's a lot of boxes. It's only a six box case. Uh, jumbo hobby box odds. So, and those are eight box cases, right? So, 1,142 divided by eight. Looking at 142, about 143, rounding up. 143, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. And then Breaker Delight, 1 in 2002, and that's a 10-box case. So that's actually 1 in 200 cases of yes. Breaker Delight. So yeah. your best chance is in the Jumbo. No. Yeah, it was. Wait, one in 1,142 boxes divided by 8. Yeah, that would be Jumbo, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you said 180 or 170 something. Niner. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. Niner in there. So Jumbo would be your best shot, but it is more. It's the most expensive. Scheme. Right. Of course. So. So yeah. I mean, best case scenario, you're getting one in a hundred cases. So I mean, they are hard to hit. They are going to be hard to hit. It, it wasn't. Was no. What was that? What was that number? One hundred forty-three boxes. Was it? A, I thought it was one hundred and seventy. Or no cases. Sorry. One hundred seventy something cases. One hundred forty-three would be the one hundred and forty Jumbo. Yeah. That's. Yeah pretty close to math. 200 math niner <laughs> so so uh, every breaker on yeah. average lucky to get one or two so with those odds I, man i don't know I, I guess i'm still sticking with about 300 is my floor do we think for the love for the I, I, the I, I, worst I, version of that card. okay the odds of so, seeing one pop out on release day something's gonna pop out what do you guys think something's gonna pop out. i think we gotta at least have one one will pop. there's gonna be at oh, least i think i think there'll be probably maybe a few three or four how many do we get? So Minimum. yeah, yeah. On release day, in yep. the first week, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get a, a tenth of these in the first on the week? preview? On the preview, actually. Yeah, true. Do we think there's gonna be one pull on the preview? Yeah, because there's five breakers on Fanatics Live mm. doing them. At least one. One. At least one. Okay. I think there'll be two. And I was and I was gonna say who I think it is, but uh, don't want anyone thinking I'm actually from the future and that I've predicted this. Uh, yeah, I won't say who I think it is. Hopefully, who, who, who I thought. Would it was. you have a special <laughs> celebration if you pulled it? I'd think about it, or just let it be au natural. I mean, the thing about Breaker Delight is Delight. we're going to be able to probably see it before it comes out. True, because it's a clear case. Unless it's going to be right in the middle. You're going to see. Oh, there's a thick guy because yeah, it's going to be a thicker card. Yeah, and, I mean. I wonder, there's got to be other patch outings, mm. right? No. Oh, well, let's see. I don't, know. That's I don't the think only, so. Yeah. Then, then you're gonna, you could look at. The you're gonna know. You'll, you'll know. You're gonna know exactly now, what you're about to pull. I wonder if there's a lot less cards in the Breaker Delight if there is a debut patch. Hmm. I would imagine because they can only fit in those little cases. You know. There's a little bit of room. You can. You can a put, little. Yeah. It's a yeah. little room, but not much. Not not too much wiggle room. Yeah. I'm looking at. Maybe you get is. one less refractor in there. He's quick orange. Or one less auto. Or, well, it, you'll chrome. you'll. Yeah, you'll get. Well, then you'd no, only get one you don't. No, you want to get two you're, autos. You're probably yeah, gonna get, get two, two autos. autos. Maybe one less refractor. That might be how they do it. And wonder how many of them are redemptions yeah. too. I guess we'll have to. We'll have. We'll be seeing that as well. I'm gonna be day. very fascinated to see how everybody responds to this, um, because I think there are probably four to five in this that feel like uh, those are gonna be the ones everyone chases, and then everybody else is kind of like. Well, there might be some nice ones. There might be ones where like, hey, well, you got one, you know, whereas I think next year you're going to have a much more substantial. And we're building up to having an Ellie, ones. you know, right. Ellie next, chase. I mean, Ellie and Dominguez next year. Wow. Now, we talked about this before, but how do we feel about it being in Chrome update as opposed to a higher end product like Definitive or Diamond Icons or. At first, you know, we hated it because we mm -hmm. think I think we were thinking about the high end collector. But I mean, I think this is a low risk element of chase. I mean, you're not just ripping Chrome update for this. I think that's what people are obviously seeing because that's all we've been talking about. But there is some some triple autos. There's some super fractors. There's some dual autos. There's legend autos. There's rare inserts. There's a lot to chase in Chrome update. So um, but yeah, I mean, for them. You're, they're basically essentially instead of doing the definitive and putting it in a thousand cases, they're kind of group breaking their own product, right? They're 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 actually making more product to chase it around, rather than just putting it in a high end product and charging you know True. ten thousand twenty thousand dollars a box or whatever, hmm. right? Because I think if they made a new product, they would have to charge it had to be like a transcendent to make up for the cost of that. But what they're doing is they're actually kind of group breaking the product in a way. So, but. Uh, yeah. Yep. Let's move on to some more baseball. But Bowman Draft uh, looks like it's coming out 12-12, which we kind of came into a realization 
uh, this right before we started the show that uh, Tom Brady's supposed to have cards in this. We autos think. on autos on the expos, which mm -hmm. this is the last release of this year's Bowman, and it was the Bowman design I think they showed. So should be in this release. Twelve twelve is a Tuesday, odd day for a release, but it is Tom Brady's number. So. It uh, looks like that's why they're doing it. Um, highlighted by Paul Skeens, who is a pretty phenomenal pitcher. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as it as it stands right now, the hobby doesn't really take to pitching too much. This guy is kind of a rare talent, though. I mean, we've yeah. seen. Is this, the, is this the year, Cody? I always is this, say is it. Is this the year? It's the year <laughs> of the pitcher. Uh, look, I said that about Jack Leiter, and guess what? Jack Leiter never signed Bowman, so... We had to pause the year of the pitcher. Well, we had Leiter and Rocker, remember? It we was did. like we had we all did. that hype. It should have been, and then the Rocker thing happened where he had to not be – where he wasn't drafted, and then we missed the year, so all the buzz went and away. Yeah, Rocker got uh, and, suspended or and something. And then Leiter – well, it was that injury – that uh, there was some injury history that he did not disclose to the Mets when he was originally drafted. Now he's on the Rangers with Leiter, which is funny. Um, but So we had to pause it, but – College World Series was the most watched was the LSU ever in LSU. Plus, you've got him and Dylan Cruz were the top two picks. Both played on LSU together. So there's some novelty there. Dylan Cruz will probably be the lead name in Bowman flagship. 2024. Um, yeah. Also, something we were looking up. Paul Skeen's girlfriend is way more famous than him. She is an Olymp. She's like a uh, a gymnast who's like I think might be on the U.S. team or is one as as who is it gone with the U.S. team? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I I know that I know I I, I, I look it up. She has she has I say I don't remember her name and uh, that is no disrespect to her because she has literally eleven million followers across. TikTok and Instagram. Now, can this so dude, that could, could this be dude throw 108 miles an hour? Uh, pretty close. Okay, because that's that's the equivalent of hitting 500. Oh, it's Olivia Olivia Dunn. It's Livy. Remember the Riz with? Uh, oh my God, is it Riz? Yeah. Oh no way, is that yeah. who it is? Yes. Oh my gosh, Paul Skeens went and got rizzed up by she, Livy. She is not on the unbelievable. On the, she's not on the U.S. squad. Okay, no. She, uh, but she uh, is very she, popular. I think she is very popular. I think she does like the college. Yes. Circuit, but she's not. Okay, okay. Definitely not on the. Uh, well, wow. Good, good NCAA for, uh, gymnast and baseball pro first sparked relationship rumors when she was wearing his jersey at the College of World Series. And in I June. think she, I think she also goes to LSU. I believe or so. went to LSU. My God, she's already worth two point three million dollars. Uh, she, yeah, her, her star far out, far outshines his, uh, which you know. So there might be the novelty of some people like, hey, I know who that guy is because of her. Oh, there might and be I'm that. Was, he, but so she's not with Baby Gronk. No, baby Gronk. Okay. Was, I don't, no, was and again, he, they, was that's, he the, who knows? Was I he the no first idea. pick overall? Uh, yes, he was the first pick. So he's number one pick um, for what was a very strong class overall. So you're going to see a lot of big names in this one, but it'll be Skeens and yeah, it sounds like well, I sounds mean, like Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got the he's got the the young man look with the mustache, with the, the mustache. longer kind of hair now. with the shave on the side, like the Morgan Wallen haircut. It's in right now. He's got it. He's got it going. All on. right. So and, and he yeah. has kind of the fast track of being oh, to yeah. the major leagues. He she should be up. You know, pretty quick. You know, those college pitchers tend to move up the ranks yeah. in the minor minor league system a little bit faster. And I know it's Pirates, so there might be some guys like eh, Pirates, like that's 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 the team. But they have a lot of good young I don't talent. Think that I'm, we they can be back there. With baseball, it it's tough to like. Obviously, like if it's the Yankees, Red Sox, right. Dodgers, that's why Dominguez. And all yeah, those guys that makes well. a difference. But if the player performs and is hyped, yeah. we've seen it with like the Rays. Like, look how many Rays prospects sell for a ridiculous amount. Yeah, you know, I actually I saw I was in Vegas over the weekend. I saw the great Nate Bargatze, and he actually had oh, nice. a pretty good uh, bit about um, uh, the draft. He's like. Could you imagine if the draft happened in real life? He's like, the basically the worst company would pick the highest ranked. Like, like so you graduate out of Harvard, and you're like, you're going to Shane's Auto Parts. You know what I mean? Because it's like that's the equivalent of the draft is you're literally going to the worst organization right. in that sport. You know, baseball's a little different, but like you know, like Bryce Young on the Panthers. You know, and what do you expect from a guy that this is a team's rebuilding? But I'm not do I'm not serving any justice to the bit, but it was it was kind of funny yeah. how he put it. That's pretty funny. That's a, that's a good bit. Uh, I saw somebody on uh, one of the videos we put up. I think it was when we were talking about the Otani Ruth 
dual auto in definitive, uh, which, by the way, I think the card actually looks pretty solid. Mm. Uh, we haven't really talked about it since. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, or not. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it back. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, uh, that I was saying, I think it's going to be, the, this is the number one card people are going to be chasing for baseball. I think it's huge. This is massive, one of a kind. Somebody commented and said the Brady will outsell it. The Brady Super Fractor from Bowman Draft will outsell it. And I found that to be hard well, to believe. there's two. There's two of the Otani. There's that. So well, I mean, if I just, we put if we put the the final sell price on both of them combined, it it'll it'll outsell the Brady. And I think the mm. Brady's cool. I don't just I, I I Babe Ruth cut autos minimum are around twenty k usually. Right? Do we so think the Brady? Do we think the Brady Super Fractor is over six k or uh, over 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 six figures? Figures six figures? No, it's not six k. No. I, I now, think six it's, figures wouldn't shock me. Oh, I think it, I think it's over a hundred thousand. So then are no. we saying? Yeah. So what's the old time? No, yeah. I, I, so what's the well? Otani... There'll probably be a bounty put on it. Yeah, I think it'll be over our hundred grand. What's the Otani Ruth then? Let's say the Yankee I, version because that'll I, be the. I actually one. agree. I agree. Wow. I, think, I think it's. I think Ooh. the Otani. I think the Otani Ruth is less than the Brady. Well, that this is a great social media question right here. So it's like you know, great real question is, would you rather have the Tom Brady Draft Expo? Super Fractor that's rumored to be in Bowman Draft or the Otani Babe Ruth Dual Auto that's in Definitive. Yeah, comment below because I, I think I'm particularly going with the Babe Ruth Shohei Otani if I had to have one. I think the Brady, to me, is like a gimmick. It's almost like the Michael Jordan Haynes. I was going to say. It's almost and, like a Michael Jordan Haynes and card. I, and I think that. Excuse me. I, th <laughs> I mean, that would be a great card. Uh, no, that no, that card that, that card exists. Yeah, well, there you well, go. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. I could get an Upper Deck Exquisite Michael Jordan or I could get an 86 Fleer Jordan. Those are staple cards in, in all of basketball, but like. Tom Brady contenders, like Tom Brady Expos, Tom, Tom Brady, Brady Expos, Tom Brady Expos. Sign right. Me I up. mean, look, it's a fun card, and I guess you could say both of these cards are, in a way, novelties. Man, you guys are really downplaying a card that's a card that's six figures. It's a fun card. It's a gimmick. It's you know what? I got a card. But it looks to the market might say Brady. it's six figures, but I it's it, Tom Brady. To me, it is way more of a novelty than Otani and Ruth. You are trying to capture. A moment in history what if, for me. What if the what if Tom Brady true, basically comes out moment. and he's like, I'm gonna try to play baseball. I'm gonna do the Jordan, even though he's what, forty four years old, whatever. He's like, I'm gonna go play baseball. Well, now. here's what they're gonna do. We all, we already know what the marketing you got, campaign is. You guys gonna are gonna be. gonna be like, gotta get my gotta get my Tom Brady first Bowman's out because I can already see the marketing campaign. It's gonna be the week before. Tom Brady's gonna put out a very cryptic message. Maybe he's on a baseball diamond. Oh, I'm man, you know, I'm getting the itch again. Oh, you know, retirement. I'm a little bored in retirement. Blah blah blah. You know, twelve twelve. We're gonna announce something big, and then he then there's gonna be a fake press conference or whatever. And they're gonna put out some great video. It's like I'm announcing, I'm gonna play Major League Baseball for the Montreal Expos. You never, you like never that. bet against Tom Brady. I know. I, I don't know. Uh, you're right. Tom, it's, Brady, it's, comes Tom, Brady, out, Tom Brady comes out and he's like, oh, I want to play for the Giants. He probably makes the Giants a better baseball team. I got it. I got it. Actually, I got it. <laughs> now, wait a <laughs> minute. Probably. Yeah. I got I got Hold actually on. a great idea. I got a great idea. I probably shouldn't put this on tape. And I want to know what you guys think percentage-wise is. All right. Niners are playing Tampa Bay this weekend. Mm -hmm. Tom, Bay, Tom Brady obviously played for Tampa Bay and won a Super Bowl. Griffin I walk Bay. up to 20 fans. And ask them if Tom Brady played another sport or was if he was drafted by another team. How many fans do you think will know that Tom Brady was in, drafted by the in, Expos in Santa Clara? Yes. Oh, uh, over over fifty percent. No, I yeah. mean that's yeah. That, you're talking gonna, to Bay they, Area no, people, yeah, too. because they're going to tell you exactly where he went to school, right. and they're going to be like. He played baseball. But I didn't know. They're going to be like, I know his. I know somebody who knows his cousin who knows. No, I don't think people knew that he was drafted by the Expos. I, no, I think no, there's no, going to no, be no, a no, good no, chunk no. of people that don't. No, they're not going to know that, but they're going to know. That he played baseball. If, if you basically were like, did Tom Brady play another sport besides football in high school? There are, but how do you They're going to be like, absolutely. How do I word it to get the Expo answer out of people? How would I word Which, that? They're, ne they're not going to know that. You'd say Tom That's Brady played uh, was, drafted was drafted by another, another professional sport. sport. What was the sport and what team was he drafted for? They they may get well, the, they'll get the sport right. They're not going to get the team right. No, That's yeah. what I'm saying. I felt no, like I was. Oh oh oh! No, I mean, well now we're I'm saying it. like one in twenty people that I ask will know that that they will be able to say Expos and baseball. They won't. No no they, no. You can ask a thousand people. They're not going to know. Yeah. That's no what I'm saying. No one's going to know that, but they're going to know. 
but no, no, I will say I will say 15 out of the 20 people will say that uh, I will say that he played baseball and he was drafted. I'll say 10 out of 20. Maybe I mean, even that might be a bit much. I'd say 50 percent will know that he was drafted uh, that play he baseball. played baseball. That's what I'm saying. But they won't get the expos. No, nobody will get the expos. Maybe one of those guys. No, that's, I, I feel like how I many, feel like how I many was, people how many people go to Levi? Fifty thousand. Yeah. Not one person will get it. Right. Honestly, I felt like I found out when they put out the image of the card. I felt like I didn't know that until. Yeah. I knew he played baseball. I knew he played baseball at Sarah. Did I know he got drafted? No. Yeah. But I knew he played baseball. What's well, the, what's the last? Just go back to the card for a second. What is the? I gotta find this out. I should have looked it up before we went on. The last uh, sale of like I don't know. Let, let's just go his first Bowman. Not even, not even the contenders. Oh, let's just look at that. Yeah, I know. He's what is? Uh, oh, well, there you go. Forty-five hundred for okay. a PSA ten. Hmm. The, so again, not, so the Super Fractor, not numbered. A PSA ten. Let's put the PSA ten. No, if they made a Super Fractor. Well, I'm just saying for this card. So it's gonna blow that right out of the water. Sure, easily. It, it's it's a. I just it, don't know. It's, it's six figures. Man. It's a hundred and twenty thousand dollar card. You're probably not wrong, but it just is like I would rather have the one of him in his rookie only, year as a football it'll player be the than this. Only Tom Brady Super Fractor first Bowman that's ever gonna get produced. But I don't I don't know if they're gonna have the first Bowman on it. Will I they? Think, no, I think, it's I think it's gonna be a we'll retrofractor. My guess is they this I think will it's be gonna have the first moment. Because this is their new this is going to be on the next set of retrofractors. I'm guessing it's this and who knows? Tom Brady Maybe Expo Bowman. Let me see, let me see if I can find it. There's that one that's floating around. I don't think that's real with the inscription. I think he is going to – I think – You think that one's I, real? I think there's going to be some that are going to be inscribed. Yeah, it doesn't no, say I don't. Bowman. I don't question that, but the one that I saw – like, If baseball all. doesn't work out, there's always football. Yeah. That's the one that's floating that, around. That – that Yeah. That might be – It was from Michael Rubin's phone. That might yeah. be six figures. Now, that one I could see being something special because it just the inscription alone. And the super factor. But, again, to me, that's uh, – give me the two cards, the Otani, Ruth, Yankee one, just that. I'm not even talking both. Give me that. Or the Brady, I'm taking the Otani Ruth. Me too. Five, seven out of seven days a week. The um, I'm taking a Brady. Yeah. Well, yeah, there you go. Divided room here. Yes. Yeah. Somewhat. We steal. <laughs> uh, I always spend a lot of time on the topics. NT is coming out this week. National Treasures 2022-2023 version. Uh, and Magic are playing good. Banchero is 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 doing really well. Um, they uh, they beat the Bucks, I believe, over the weekend, right? Yeah. The Magic beat the Bucks. Yep. I lost my bet in Vegas, and uh, I had a first half bet, so I don't know Magic if they actually won. Right. But they did uh, you they bet did pretty against well. Your Magic? I did. Oh, I did. Man. I took the Bucks. Oh, um, yeah, Magic doing all right. Doing all right. It was only a three point spread, so I thought the Bucks were significantly better with Damian Lillard mm -hmm. than the Magic, but didn't work out. They were playing Orlando, but he's doing well. You've got Chet playing well. You've got. You know, Jalen Williams, got Shane, like we talked about last week, Shaden Sharp. There's a lot of good rookies to chase. Of course, a bunch of logo mans. Do we know if there's a checklist out for this yet? Have we uh, seen? There is a checklist. Yes. There is a checklist. There is a checklist. There's the retro autos, too, there. Do we know um, uh, other players that have logo mans in this? Do I'd have see, to double check. Do yeah. we see if LeBron has a logo man in it? 22-23 National Treasures. I guess the question of is this going to have as much hype as it normally has? Or has the Web and Yama... No. Praise, kind of taking um, this this away. It's Wemby. I, unfortunately, it feels like it's Wemby or bust. It's, now we need it, to check the checklist. Still, it's still it'll NT. still be big. It's, it's still, still NT. NT. exactly. It's still NT. It'll still be big. Paolo's still a big player, and the fact is, I would. I think we should be feeling a lot better because Chet Holmgren looks as good as he does. Yes, that is, and he's essentially you know it's his rookie year right now. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking up the uh, checklist for the logo mans as well. You got retro 2010 rookie patch autos 50 in there. RPAs, by the way. 50 different players. Yep, yep. So you've got that. Same yep. thing with the 2010s. Autographs, duels. Uh, Paolo Banchero, Anthony Hardaway. That might be kind of cool. Uh, uh, Penny Hardaway, yeah. Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, dual auto. That's interesting. Jason Tatum, Paolo Banchero. These are dual autos. They have autographed triples, too, which I don't remember triples. Yeah, there's a team. lot. Of, yeah. Um, I got the Logo Man autos. There's 31 uh, Logo Man autos in this set. And those should be all, uh, 31 Logo Man, uh, but not the rookies. 
Uh, no, let me see here. Yeah, do we have? I mean, no, it's got to be so, yeah. Vet Non Auto. That's what you're probably, he's probably looking at. That's what I was looking at. Yeah, yeah. yeah Brandon Ingram, Josh Giddy, Carl Autos. Anthony Towns, uh, John Morant, Chris Paul on the Suns, Anthony Edwards should be a big one. Uh, Meta World Anthony Peace, Edwards James Harden. Actually, that, that checklist does not blow me away. No. Jamal Murray, Jonathan Kaminga, Bradley Beal, Jordan Poole, Marcus Smart, Chris Middleton. Those are autograph logo mans. Um, do we have just relic logo mans? Notable nicknames: Cade Cunningham, Paul Pierce. I'm looking it up right Peerless now. Here's the signature yeah. checklist. You got Luca in here. Uh, Luca has autos in here. Man, did you? By the way, uh, you know we were we were gonna. Uh, we'll just say briefly. I just got to mention Anthony Edwards is on fire right now. The guy looks amazing. Uh, game against the Warriors the other night posterizing him good god he's he, he's he's getting to the next level yeah he looks Lu great you know luca leads the league and and i know he does points. i he, know he does he's also having a pretty also good having year. also a fantastic player yeah. showing well, the new I mean, generations here i mean it's surprising it's surprising somebody who's like <laughs> a glorified bench player is just on no. fire yes lebron james does have logo man <laughs> there you a, go. a logo man at least a uh, there's a hundred uh colossal logo mans that don't have autos there's a hundred of those so um, everybody you'd want yeah. is on there pretty it's much. It's still NT. There's still going to be big chases. There's still going to be all the big rookies you want. It's NT. It's NT. It's NT. Chet, uh, uh, who's who's a bigger chase, Chet or Paolo? Well, and I and I still it should be Paolo, and I still put the NT logo man above all other. Yeah, especially rookies like ones. immaculate. I, you gotta you gotta put NT above that. Yep. Flawless. You gotta put NT above that. I think Spe Spectra now has logo mans. Yep. You got to put well, above that. And one thing to keep in mind, too, is they have the one on one autograph logo man patch RPA, right? But they also have a logo man number to five for the rookies. So, you know, Chet will have, and uh, ba Bechero will uh, technically have so it. So you're telling me everybody gets a logo man. Everybody. Everybody. You get a logo man. Everybody gets a logo man. Everybody. You get a logo man. But yeah, I do feel like that the one thing you will see, the recency bias will be, I feel like Chet. I need to look up exactly how they're selling, but I think Chet. Let's just put up the two logo mans, a Chet and a Paolo. I think the Chet outsells Paolo I, right my, now. My my concern is the non-autoed number to five, and I know this is not the first year they've done it. Yeah, uh, but we're starting to get to the point where logo yeah, man. They've done it for the last five. Six I, yeah, years. but I I want to say it was number to three. It's been number to three before, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, no, so, I, but I mean, actually, I mean, at, at what, at what point, Donovan they, Mitchell year there was number to five because we pulled what, one. What did they so. come out and they're just like number to ten this year? See, and I number agree to, with number to twenty-five. Oh boy! Oh, right. that that's and that's that is that is the line in the sand right there. Number to twenty-five. That's, that's too much. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, you know what, eighty-two games in a season, number to eighty-two. But one but, game. but number one number to game. ten is number to ten is okay. Even that's pushing it. Yeah, it's too much. That's I mean, pushing it. Twenty-five this, is ridiculous. But this is NT. That's why I think I, I I like the obviously I agree with you about the rookie patch autos. They are the number one. Um, if you compare the rookie patch auto flawless logo bands, I'd rather have the NT. But I'd rather have the logo mans and flawless of everybody else. So the vets, the legends, um, the yeah. I'd rather have those than the like I'd rather have the LeBron James flawless than the LeBron James NT. So and then you got Immaculate kind of in the mix too, but that they don't usually have a lot of vets, They're usually mostly only rookies. So Yeah. But um exclusives. So we talked about it. Uh Web and Yama, obviously exclusive of Fanatics. You won't see any of his autographs. Because of that, you will see his cards. We've seen that in Prism Draft doing well. Uh CJ Stroud, same deal, autograph deal exclusively with Fanatics. And LeBron James has been a exclusive to Upper Deck for years. I, th I think we've turned the tide on that, and he, he may be in, in some Bowman Chrome coming up. But, yeah, I mean, obviously exclusives are killing the hobby right, right now. Could you imagine how well Origins or Certified would be doing and how much more hype we'd have around these products if you could chase C.J. Stroud, Inc.? I mean, it, it literally is the guy this year is C.J. Stroud. Now, he does still have auto – or he does still have patches and base cards throughout these products, but we are missing his ink. Yeah, I think in general, yeah, it's it's just really something I that just hit me while watching C.J. Stroud have what was it, it, easily his most impressive performance. I know last week with the numbers were impressive, but to me this week far more impressive. Mm. The way he was able to get out of trouble, the way so, there were there were throws he was making. He I don't say this lightly. He there threw, were plays he made that there's only one other guy in the league who can do that. He threw a he really 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 bad interception in the fourth quarter. Yes, he did. He's still a rookie. 
He I'll threw, give him I mean, with the chance to close out the game, he basically threw an interception to allow the Bengals to come down and score a touchdown. Now, he did put he he put it together and it drove down and they ended up kicking a field goal to win the game. That's why I still say it's it's impressive. But you, the Bengals you and know? it's a better team and it's on the road. I I don't know. It's I I know that mistake was bad. It was really I, bad. The, the Texans are legit. They're legit. They're well, a legit. They're, they're a legit team. They might they have championship team. pedigree in their in their blood. Um, you know their coach obviously learned from the best. He didn't. He didn't so, win a championship. Well, <laughs> NFC championship. He, yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> but. Stack those Just, up all you want. Again, yeah, imagine that, yeah, then, you know, how we'd all be like, oh, my God, like all these, you know, his autos are flying and all that. And it's just a bummer. We, it's something we all know. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's – is it worth dwelling on anymore? You might say, well, think, hey, it is what I it is. We, we got to accept it. Based on the odds that one of these five quarterbacks that were drafted in the first round this year, one of them was going to pop, right? Right. And you were kind of just hoping – from a collector standpoint, that it wouldn't be Young, Stroud, right. or Levis. But the odds were that it was going to be one it of those was, guys because yeah. there was just more of them. Sure. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, how many years do we go along and Anthony Richardson was hurt? He did look great when he was out there, I thought. I thought week one and two, it was like, it's clearly Anthony yeah, he Richardson. Looked the best. But, um, I mean, how many years do we have a guy that looks the best? Like, you know, you go back to. 2012 you you andrew luck and rg3 were clearly the best that turns out to be russell wilson now in 2012 so uh, yeah cj stroud could look like the best now but it's not saying it will levis or or uh uh who am i thinking of the the, the colts guy freaking why am i why is it yeah. anthony, anthony, anthony richardson, richardson. Jeez. Jeez. i was like are you my thinking, brain stopped are you working thinking aiden o'connell no uh, well aiden o'connell too at least we have autos of him but um Richardson could be the best guy next year. You don't know. I mean, you don't know how this shakes out, but it is a bummer right now that if you're, like, thinking about getting a card, you're thinking about the future with NT, you're thinking about contenders, you're thinking about contenders optic. These products are all based around rookie autographs that you're not going to have that kind of chase, and it's a bummer. because of the autograph situation with the exclusives, do you think that makes Prism go up even more this year i think so and i think that's part of why this is maybe magnified too is that you are dealing with products that are not like prism yeah when prism comes around we're not gonna feel that because it's it's not an auto pro it's not a product where people are chasing the autos or chasing the parallels or chasing the color you know products gonna really suffer i know it but i know what you're gonna say well one I, contenders yeah 100%. contenders is gonna i mean whoo that's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough um, Can they put the sign here's back in there? Sign here. <laughs> they did that. They would do that back in the day if they couldn't get a guy to sign. It would just be the autograph, like no autograph. They'd stamp it, no oh, autograph. Wow. Yeah. Um, Sean Taylor. Yeah, Sean Taylor was that. Had an really? autograph deal, never signed for some reason. So there it was, said no autograph where the autograph was. Because there was a. I, we just bought to remind a, you. Yeah, we bought a collection and it was a Chris Cooley Sean Taylor dual autograph because they were the same rookie class. Yeah. And it was Chris Cooley's clear sticker and then it was a uh, no autograph on it's hmm. interesting very interesting so but uh you know you got to think for those upcoming releases that are autograph based that they're yeah. gonna have to do something so that'll be the silver lining i think is that some kind of creativity is gonna have to pop from this yeah. because you've basically taken away what you normally rest on and what drives products that you're gonna have to create some kind of insert some kind of chase without an autograph that's a good point like the base cards for contenders have been an absolute afterthought for a, I mean, what over a decade. Yeah. Um, can they put a chase rookie card in there of these quarterbacks that are exclusive to fanatics? That's what they're going to have to do. And they're going to have to do I mean, that. that would add value to the product. Yeah. I just don't know what that would look like. And I don't know if the collector would jump on board with that because no one's ever collected contenders rookie cards. And what's right. fr- and I guess what's the part that's frustrating is it's like it, this is probably benefiting the athletes more than it did in the past. Like de- signing these exclusive deals to me, no question, they're probably seeing more money. They're probably doing better off. They're getting a better deal with these. Well, I, actually, they're doing no work because there's no right. products. As there's far as too. we know, as they're we sit signing here. a lot less probably and yeah. making more. Yeah. So as far as we sit here today. They, there's no other plans for that we know of of C.J. Stroud rookie autos in Fanatics products that we know of. Right. Um, because they've gone through their Bowman Chrome U and all that stuff that they've done. 
Uh, they may throw him in some novelty sets like we've seen Will Levis and Bryce Young and, and Ginter. But I believe with PA agreements, there could only be two players that are non-PA players um, in a set that's not that same. That's why with Ginter, they can only put two basketball players or two football players because of the way the agreements worked out. So that's why you only had two. So, I mean, you might see those one-off type products. You're going to see helmets and, and autographs on Fanatics.com, I'm sure. You know, there'll probably be a lot of those. Yeah. But, you know, these guys are getting paid more for not having to sign. I mean, the Panini deals were 40, 50, 60, hundreds of thousands of autograph stickers that they would do. So yeah. they don't have to do that anymore. You hope what, that yeah, – what, yeah. what if they – what if Fanatics does this? What if they actually buy back Prism cards? And actually have an autograph signing with, and they actually insert those buyback prism cards into one of their football sets. I mean, that's. I mean, I I know that is like gonna be frowned upon. Yeah. From the manufacturer. But I think we've seen that in something. I have only seen. Now maybe it was defunct manufacturers, but I th- think I'm trying to think of like. Um, was it like? Uh, Certified baseball, not certified baseball, but like uh, Diamond Kings baseball. Didn't they have like an Ichiro auto that was a buyback? Oh, yeah. It was like uh, 19, well, it would have been in 2000s. It was like 2003 something that was signed. So I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I guess there, you, you may be on to something. I don't know. I mean, I was also thinking from the aspect of can Panini buy an autographed jersey of CJ Stroud and cut that piece of the autograph? I don't know. And put it in a card. I don't know. I don't know what the legality of, is. That. I mean, yeah, and that would all that's kind of the reverse of what I just said. Right. And there would that would also probably upset manufacturers as well. Yeah. Uh, the, you know they're having these internal discussions at Panini. They're trying to figure this out, especially because I think for them the thing that's really looming is things like flawless NT where they're like we got to bring something to the table with those ones at the very least. Whatever can they can do, I don't know. Can't well, we do like full, you know, like on the outside to the public, we hate each other. It's like a WWE, like, you know, heel versus hero type deal. Can't we just kind of meet in the back alley and I'm like, you know, I'm going to give you 700 prism cards and I'm going to give you 700 signed jerseys. You know what I sure mean? It's like, nice. whoop, we play. there we go. Can't we all just there get along? Go. You know what I mean? We don't talk about it. You don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. And it works out. Yeah. But, uh, By the way, something a bit before we go, uh, we, we had basketball there. We didn't really talk about it. I feel like it's hurting football more than basketball right now, but we'll see with the Wemby stuff. But I, I kind of had a light bulb moment when we realized that probably LeBron is, as we talked about last week, maybe starting to sign for tops. Wouldn't it be something if, hey, what's a great selling point for the return of tops Chrome basketball? LeBron and Wemby autos is the only place you can get them, and we'll throw both of them on one card. Do a lot of LeBron and Wimby. And those would be the only two PA players that could be at a set. Yeah. So, exactly. I would prefer to have a Wemby <laughs> auto by himself and LeBron auto by himself. But you know why, that's why, what they'll do. Why because do we, it's the why two do big we guys. love doing these multi-signed cards and we think it adds value? It doesn't. I know. It doesn't. It hurts. The, but we talk the about LeBron, it. The Le- LeBron right. James by itself would sell for more right. than a LeBron and Wemby together. But see, you're collecting. Even unlicensed, though? Even unlicensed? Yes. Right. You're we're collecting purists, but I think the outside it's like double the autos, the more double the, the fun. Yeah, yeah, it's like a bit of an eighteen parlay. Oh, yeah, I could win so much more money. It gets it gets people talking when you're like, look at what we've got: the biggest rookie versus the 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 new chosen one and the chosen one on one card. Mm. And it rarely works out. I mean, you see it with Origins; they do it every year with Origins. Like you'll see, you go back to seventeen, and it's like Patrick Mahomes, Mitch Trubisky. Yeah. You know, uh, who else was 17? Deshaun Watson, which isn't horrible, but and then there's there's like, you know, it, it was like four guys on one car. The chances of them all being the top four guys doesn't ever happen. I think Aaron Rodgers played with um, Alex Smith, oh, yeah. but there was uh, another Green Bay quarterback, I think, drafted that year, too. And, and it, you know, he's on cards with them, and it just like, it doesn't stuff. Jake Fromm or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, it's it it's him, but you know. Yeah, and it's not Jake Fromm State Farm either. No, it's, no. yeah, that no. might be better. It's you know like products like Definitive, which are coming out, which is going to be like uh, Cal Ripken and and Brooks Robinson. I mean that that makes sense. Yeah, Those or, are legends. Or or it could be like uh, 2014. Yeah, but uh, Johnny Manziel and Connor Shaw. Woof. Well, that's even worse when you have two quarterbacks on the same team because what are the chances? Right. One of those is not – well, in that right. case, I can't. both ain't going to work out. Yeah. <laughs> Connor Shaw absolutely devalued that Johnny Manziel yeah. card. Well, or did 
Johnny Manziel devalue the Connor yeah, Shocker. Maybe a little of both. They both work together. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I'll apologize in advance for uh, speaking that Wemby LeBron duel into existence it's gonna happen. in whatever 23 24 top scrum basketball set comes. I'm well, curious. Who and had a, one, who had one a little. Career, Connor Shaw or Johnny Manziel? I mean, Connor Shaw did start at one point. It's got to be Johnny. Well, Manziel would you hate this? Fault, right? we, we, we've talked about it, and I know we're running, <laughs> we're running short on time here, but would you hate this? And I know Dan will, but I want to see what, what Cody says. All right. You know we just signed. They know that Panini signed Tim Duncan to an exclusive, right? Mm. Oh. Would you hate? Would you hate if they had National Treasure RPAs with Webb and Yama on it, but signed by Tim Duncan? Oh man, I can't. I can't hate anything more. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it the most. I hate it the most. I'm not. You remember a, the I'm Kobe not a fan either. Team. That's just weird. That's just like ah, here's a piece of uh, Webb and Yama's jersey even, and Tim Duncan's auto with a. No, but you have them like both on the right. card. You know, they're like on one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, just, I mean, it angers me no. so much. Because those Kobe here. rookie teams did well back in the day. You want to learn how to destroy national treasures? There you but go. But you got to get creative when you're. We got to. We got to try something else. Yeah. And do we're not. not e- do not have. Do, don't the don't do it. Is kind of nuts. Don't though. do it. Like ah, number one pick by the Spurs. We just signed Tim Duncan to an no, exclusive. Then, like ten years down the go. road, the Wemby RPA signed by Tim Duncan gonna be... is going to piss me off just as much as oh, it does right now. But think yeah. about it. It could be protected if Webb and Yama is a bust. You have Tim Duncan on the card. Also pisses me off. But if it's just a weird novelty at that point. It's just nothing. It's like passing the torch or something, right? Yeah. I'd rather just have a Tim Duncan auto on a Tim Duncan. Card. And I'm sure that, it's, yeah. That would be the better way. Of, I, and I'd rather have a rookie patch of Wemby without an auto. I actually rather, I'd rather it say no auto. Or go back to the Get no auto. big old auto. stamp, no stamp, auto. Stamp, yeah. no auto on it. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you're going to get Bring creative. I mean, another thing we're not even really realizing, because we're still in the midst of the 2022-23 rookie class, where Panini has all the athletes. I believe there's 16 other players along with Victor Webinyama from lot. the first round that will not have autos in 23-24 products. So we're not even kind of realizing how badly that's going to hurt once NT of that year comes out or Basketball's contenders and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Basketball is going to be hurting a little bit when it comes to the auto subjects. But Well, thank God we had the pandy and people like refractors and parallels again hopefully this is just getting. one year let's get it out of the way let's get all the weirdness but i it, i don't know if it's only one but year it might be next feel, year too i feel I don't if know. you lose basically half of the first round you you you're gonna make less you're gonna make less of that product you have to you would think. probably not so you're just you're gonna go out, you're uh, well well deep into the second round, maybe even to like free agent signings. So then at that point, Doug McDermott's going to be in yeah. there and Un- unlicensed. But I'm Lever talking about I'm talking about like the the RPAs. Like you only have so you. are I mean, if they only make 16 subjects that are RPAs, which they'll make more, they all should be pretty damn good. Should be. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And it makes unlicensed tops basketball all the more appealing if you know. Well, we're gonna have Wemby plus all these guys and. Who knows? Might even sp- sprinkle in a LeBron James or two. But I don't see. That's the thing. I don't think they can use them. Uh, maybe they can't it, use them. No, well, we know there's a. Well, remember there was that language in the uh, the lawsuits that they do not have a not. There's not a non-exclusive license for the Players Association. Mm, okay, so, they so they should be able to use the autos. Football might be a different story. But they can't use the logos. They cannot use logos yet. Not yet. Pajama. Pajama cards. Pajama cards, but it's Wemby. Well, remember they just came out with Wemby and pajamas. Remember that finest? I know we're running we're running (laughs) long here, but that finest set that they came out and it was like Gary Payton, Shaq, stuff like that. Larry Bird. Yeah. Why can't they do something like that with Webb and Yama in there? I don't know. Uh, They probably will, honestly. Although they only did it one time, so who knows? It was a test. They'll figure it out. They're gonna find a way to put them in as much stuff as they can. Love the confidence, Cody. Yeah. (laughs) Well, do it. Don't worry. (laughs) They'll figure it out, guys. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. I have a feeling that <laughs> next week's show is going to be crazy with NT breaking over the weekend, with Chrome Update breaking over the weekend. Um, lots of stuff going on. The F1 race is happening in Vegas. So there's going to be lots of stuff to talk about next week. So I appreciate you guys tuning into this episode. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter or X, Facebook. And you can tell all your friends that our podcast is available on any platform you listen to podcast at so we'll see you guys next week on the hype peace